Hi, Fellowship. I wanted to let you know about an opportunity that we're going to take advantage of this year to prepare our hearts for the celebration of Christ's resurrection on Easter. Historically, the church has taken the 40 days prior to Easter um, in a season that we call Lent to prepare ourselves for the celebration of the most important event that ever happened in history, the resurrection of Christ from the dead, which was the validation of his claims to be who he said he was and to be able to do what he said he could do, and that is forgive our sins. And so this year, beginning on Ash Wednesday, which is March the 2nd, uh, we're going to have a time here right in this very room in our fireside chat room upstairs in the offices for you to take some time, and it can be just a little bit of time or it could be a, a much larger amount of time, to really bring your heart before the Lord and begin on Ash Wednesday by entering into a time of confession and repentance and reception of God's grace. And so when you arrive here, we're going to have some stations in this room that will guide you through some psalms that will allow you to really orient yourself 40 days before Easter in preparation for that time. We're also going to do something else. Um, we have copies of this book, Gentle and Lowly, by Dane Ortland, that we're going to make available to you to use as a devotional between Ash Wednesday and Easter. Uh, this is a wonderful book that really is um, devotional as it really helps you um, engage with the heart of Jesus Christ. Um, the book is subtitled The Heart of Christ for Sinners and Sufferers. And I would encourage every one of you to take advantage of that 40 days between Ash Wednesday and Easter to prepare your hearts, beginning here in the fireside chat room for as long as you can make on that day, and then um, working through this book. This book will help you fall more deeply in love with Jesus. And so fellowship, I invite you to prepare your hearts for Easter this year and do that beginning on March the 2nd, and then letting your heart just draw more and more close to our Savior as we prepare to celebrate his resurrection.